if you've been following, you know that I am cutting uh, these here. Those are um, carabiners, titanium carabiners. Um, sorry, I'm really tired. It is 11 o'clock. I came in at six or half six and just started water jet cutting uh, right away, which is the reason it's been a good day. I got like 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, nearly 16 hours of water jet cutting done. I, I stopped for about an hour while we emptied this tank. So, you know, we had the forklift in and uh, actually, I think I got footage of that, which if I did, I shall show you right now. So we got the forklift, took it out, put in a fresh thing. So that tank's empty, that tank's empty, that's good. I mean, that's two tons available, sort of two tons of space available. So I can get like 80 hours of cutting without too much concern. These arrived today. This is um, actually one, two, 12 boxes. That is tumbling media from the US of A. Um, and this is some more tumbling media here. That's plastic, uh, plastic cones, red cones. Um, also from the same company in the US, but it's actually from Germany, I believe. It's originally um, German made. Uh, so that's to replace the yellow cones. That red stuff replaces the yellow cones, which is this stuff here. Apparently it does a better job. And this stuff is, uh, I'll show you actually. This is the ceramic media we use. So you take a look at this. So you see that, that's, um, what's that bit doing in there? Get out of there. So this, this see, how, see how sort of rounded these are? Well, these here, they start off as this stuff. So they get worn down and rounded quite quickly. They don't last that long, especially in the new tumbler. It seems to wear that media out um, almost like twice as fast as this one. It's amazing. We just absolutely rip through it. So that's enough for um, my machinist's next Kickstarter project, which is the titanium cheese, the, the fine titanium cheese grater. It's like a Parmesan uh, sort of zesting grater type tool. So we're going to have a bunch of those to do soon, uh, a few weeks away, a month or so away. And so that's going to cover that and that other media is going to cover that as well. So um, yeah, bunch of carabiners cut today, all that stuff. I'm going home for a sleep, back in early. Start again. Bit of Groundhog Day, really. Saturday. So, I have just sanded a sheet of titanium. Usually uh, Nathan's doing that, um, mainly because, uh, well, the air compressor's noisy, mainly because, um, you know, I'm still sort of teaching them to use the water jet cutter and things like that. And so, you know, if, we're, if we need to be sanding sheets, it's because we're running the water jet cutter. And so, um, he's away on holiday for a week. So on my own, uh, sanded a sheet. I forgot, it's been a long time since I sanded a sheet. I forgot how heavy going it was. I knew it took two hours to sand a sheet, but, oh, it's heavy going. Um, the reason I'm going on about it is um, I've got like five, six, seven sheets of sand. I, I just kind of want to get them out of the way rather than do like one sheet every morning kind of thing. We have to do it outside. So if one morning it's rainy, then I'll, as you know, we're doing the carabiner, I'll have to sort of potentially stop the water jet cutter, but I don't like this. This coming week, my role, I have one role only, production manager. That is, that's my role. Keep that machine going at all costs. So it stopped at 11 last night or thereabouts. Um, Got in this morning and got it going before half seven. I was trying to do that and did that. It's been going since then. I think the time is whatever, 11, something like that. So what I thought I would do is most of the most of the physical effort required, like you're, you're pushing down on this as hard as you can, this 
the sanding machine here, you're, you're pushing down on it on the sheet as hard as you can. Very heavy going. I've only done one sheet and I'm already feeling it. So, um, I mean, yes, yeah, no, I'm unfit and stuff as well. But still, what I thought I would do is try and try and get some sort of heavy weight on the sanding machine here. So, I've got a, I've got a big lump of metal. Um, I'm just trying to figure out if I've got enough because because everything's closed today. It's Saturday. I've, you can't get any uh, um, threaded rod or anything like that, really. So I'm going to try and make some sort of frame, big chunk of metal. So I'm just trying to size it up and, and do it, do that kind of thing. Um, I want to get it done. I want to get it done fast, so I probably won't show the process so much. So we'll see how it goes. It may work. It may not. It's worth the sort of one or two hours investment in time, so that we you know it, you know the, the the sanding machine is weighing itself down, and I'm just sort of like going back and forth, kind of like a vacuum cleaner. So what I've got so far is the nuts and bolts and threaded rod to go onto the, the sanding machine. I've designed the um, like the frame to hold. I've got a, I've got a big weight, a uh, big sort of cylindrical weight. So I've got uh, that designed on the computer. I'm waiting. I'm not. It's a bit of a hassle to, to water jet cut the the two plates that hold that weight. Um, well, I'm in the middle of cutting some of those carabiners, so that's got about three hours and 20 minutes to go. So when that's done, then I'll put in, I'm going to use four mil titanium sheet. Yes, I'm using titanium for it. Um, I don't have any stainless. I don't really have any aluminium, anything like that. Um, and I know titanium. I know what it can do and what it can't do. And, you know, I'm just familiar with it. And, you know, I've got loads of it. You know, it is what it is. So once the carabiners have stopped in just, you know, three and a half hours time or whatever, I will cut those plates and that should be it. I'll get back to cutting the carabiners because remember, production manager this week. So that machine cannot stop under any circumstances. Um, well, that sounds a bit geeky. Um, I've just got to keep it going as much as I can. Um, otherwise, you know, the project's going to drag on and stuff. First little issue with the water jet cutter. Uh, it was going pretty well today, but just stop briefly. Um, it's a bit of a design flaw. So that's the hopper over there and it pushes the hopper for the garnet that does the cutting and it pushes through this rubber pipe, rubber hose, into this little hopper. Now, when that gets empty, it's just pushing air. The air is blasting in here and looks like a little tornado. And what happens is, is all, the, all the garnet comes out the sides and then this is kind of like going like that. And the garnet ends up on the track up here. Now there's a cover that goes over that, um, usually. So that's, that's a little bit bare just now. I don't know where the cover's gone. Ah, here we go. So this usually goes over it, but it doesn't quite protect it enough. And so, because this happened, you know, you'd hear it going along and it start crunching and then it, it just ground to a halt, it stops cutting. So basically just erroring out. So I'm gonna have to sort of rethink this and try and figure out um, a way to sort of keep the stuff off there. Maybe a little guard, a little plastic guard or something. Should be easy enough, but anyway, I think that's it fixed. Back into production.
There it is. Um, uh, <laughs> it's heavy. Uh, I have a sneaky feeling it might tilt too much to the left, you know, and put too much strain on the left side of the of this wheel, but um, testing time, I suppose. Okay, um, I'm smiling. I can't stop smiling. I'm trying not to. Um, it seems to be working. It really does. Um, it's hard to tell. Uh, like, I, I'm, I'm not going to show you on camera because it, it's the stuff's really subtle to see the little lines we're trying to take out. But so far, it seems to be ripping through it. However, a little caveat is... The belt's always really good in the first sort of minute, you know, it just rips through stuff and then it's, sort of, it, it, it's less good, but I kind of kept going for maybe, must have been two to three minutes, something like that. But strangely enough, I didn't think it would be enough weight, for whatever reason, um, I thought, oh no, it's going to be, it's not going to be as much weight as you can push down, but it might burn out the motor, I don't know, but there's a lot of force. Now, I was hoping I could just hold it with one hand, but there's no way, there's absolutely no way that's happening. There's so much weight, it's, it, it's just for three, for three, for three reasons. There's so much weight; it's tilting over that way as well. Um, it bounces. I don't know if you saw. I don't know how the video came through, but I had the I had the block of metal straight above the wheel, and it was bouncing like doom, doom, doom. So I so I just turned it so that the weight was kind of um, uh, a forward, basically in front of the wheel, and that seemed to have done it. But I also had to hold it up, so. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to put a handle on that because uh, it requires holding it as well because there is just so much weight in the way it's pulling. So what I'll do is between... I'm not going to do any more tonight. It's lights. It's getting a bit dark and you really need sort of some nice bright light to see all the little scratches, a little subtle stuff we're trying to get out. But I am, I am very, very hopeful of this, you know, because like I said, it's taking two hours per sheet. We could get it down to half an hour or dare I say less, which would be unbelievable. So... Yep, gonna modify that thing, might do that tonight or tomorrow morning, and yeah, it's uh, it's been a good day. So last night I did a bit more modification, and uh, this is the result here, I put a handle on it. So, if you look at that, so these are the bits I added. Handle here, it's just a bit of plastic pipe. Um, I'm not sure what weight this is. I think it might be, it might be something like 20 kilos, 15, 20, 25 kilos, maybe even more. Now, here's the main thing. Uh, I did a full sheet, um, and I got it down to about 20 minutes, which is absolutely amazing because it was taken. What did I say before? It's like two hours or something. Um, and it's very, you know, very labor intensive. So I think I can get it faster than 20 minutes if, if I if I don't try and get more out of the sanding belts. The little sanding belts, they're like, uh, you know, 80% of the use of them is done in like 20 seconds. And that's not even an exaggeration. It just, it just rips through the material. And then for another couple of minutes, you're just kind of, well, even five minutes, you just kind of waste it. You know, it's just, it's working, but not that well. So if I, if I use a sanding belt, take it off after a minute or two, put on another one, rip through it again, I can probably get each side down to about, you know, five, six, seven minutes a side, which is like 15 minutes or so, 10 to 15 minutes, maybe. But uh, other than that, it's fantastic. Um, I wasn't really getting the bounce so much today. I think I mentioned the bounce um, because um, I think the bounce was based on the workmate. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of, a, it's not a solid table that I was using to sand on. But um, yeah, I, I'm just sort of seeing about maybe modifying the frame again, get the weight, down lower make the weight adjustable um but yeah um it's pretty cool pretty cool to sort of save that much in fact very quickly i spent about two hours on it yesterday between designing cutting and putting it together and 
that return that there's already been a return on investment because I would have had to spend a couple of hours sanding the sheet this morning I didn't I only spent um, well about half an hour by the time I was mucking around and trying things so so the time I've put in so far uh, minus the expense of the materials has been has been worthwhile so, so the plan is to kind of modify it again and, and you know get a get it a bit better because it's still a little bit um, unwieldy <laughs> Just had three tons of garnet delivered. That's the most garnet we've ever um, ordered for the uh, for the water jet cutter. Um, typically, we you know I think we've ordered one, maybe two tons at most. But you know, cutting these carabiners, it's just it's just ripping through the stuff. So where are we? Um, I've cut something like 150, 160. I'm not actually sure. Um, a lot of carabiners. I think I'm past the halfway point, or nearly at the halfway point which is very cool um, still still being the the production manager still doing just doing absolutely everything I can to keep the machine going um, I mean I even even leave it running when I nip down the road to the shop or across the road like I wouldn't usually do that but it's been really reliable recently um, you know not really anything going wrong so uh, I mean it's been a few things I, I don't think I've shown them to you but yeah just little pipes and pipes bursting hoses bursting and things like that um, just for the garden etc etc anyway uh but yeah yeah getting getting like i don't know what somewhere between f about 14 13 14 15 productive cutting hours every day um something like that so yeah i think i'm just uh very pleased that um i'm making so much progress anyway mm -hmm. 